All right, Saturday morning, filling up the death tank, leaving Springfield, Oregon, headed out to Woodland Park, Colorado, near Colorado Springs. Got to haul this machine out there. Just heard the death knell for click off. A little bit foggy this morning. All the log trucks are in the yard. Here's the one holdover for the weekend. He'll deliver on Monday. Probably got back in from the woods a little too late after the mill closed. Got our water trucks back from the fires. Fire season's over. Got our yellow blinky lights and our big oversized sign and trucks looking good, all nice and washed. Got about 1,500 miles ahead of me to where I got to deliver this machine, so. Guess I better start driving. Talk to you in a little while. Well, we made it out of the fog up here, 75 miles up the road at San Am Junction, Oregon. Just pulled over to make sure all our chains are tight. Walk around a little bit, check her tires and wheels and lights and this is where Highway 126 intersects with Highway 22. Sky sure is nice and blue. All right, back on the road. Okay, we're driving through Sisters, Oregon. Coming into town, headed east. Sisters is a very popular tourist town. Got a little roundabout to go through right here. coming into the downtown area. That little hamburger stand on the left, I think it's called the snow cap. 
I've never raked there, but probably good. The streets are narrow. Speed limit's 20 miles an hour. Lots of congestion. Lots of tourists. Coming up on the left is the Sisters Bakery. You'll, you'll see a line of people. It always has a line of people out in front of it. Every time I've driven by. I think we just passed it right there. Got to stop for the pedestrians. Get going again. It's a neat little town, but sometimes driving a truck through it can be kind of challenging, especially with an oversized load. And they're building a new roundabout on the east end of town. This one's a little bigger than the one on the west end of town. So Sisters is about 20 miles west of Bend, Oregon. There's another town called Brothers that's about 20 or 30 miles east of Bend, Oregon. I'll show you a video clip of the town of Brothers in just a minute. And that's the end of Sisters. Now we're out in Central Oregon Desert. High Plains Desert. Coming into the town of Brothers. There it is. That's the whole town of Brothers. There is a rest area on the left-hand side right here. Two totally different kinds of towns, sisters and brothers. <laughs> well, the scenery sure has changed. We're in Ontario, Oregon, getting fuel. Once we get back on the freeway, we'll go about three or four miles down the road and then we'll be in Idaho. So we're on the border of Idaho and Oregon. I'm at the Pacific Pride fuel station, but there's a love truck stop across the street. They got these food carts over here. 
I've hit at them a couple times. They're all right. Not sure what the construction project is going on out in that field. That's new since last time I was here. Maybe they're building another truck stop. Who knows? Truck stop, gas station, fast food, something like that. Anyway, we'll get the fuel and get on down the road. Crossing the Snake River into Idaho. Welcome to Idaho. Well, we're done driving for today. Day one. Did 529 miles, made it to Bliss, Idaho. Got a really cool sunset. Parked at the Stinker Station. If you don't know, Stinker is a chain of gas stations and truck stops in Idaho. parking spot for the night. That sunset's pretty cool. Eight hundred and eighteen miles left to the to the delivery. A couple mobile homes parked back there. That's it for tonight. Catch back up in the morning. Well, that's day two of my trip to Colorado Springs area. Stopped in at the Raft River rest area on I-86. A little bit west of Pocatello, Idaho. Get out and walk around every once in a while. Truck coming in. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. See you later. Welcome to Wyoming. Wyoming at the end of day two. 600 miles of driving today. I think I have about 300 miles to go to my destination. Made it to this Petro truck stop. Parked over here in the dirt lot. Uh, 
everything's going well. And the sun's almost down. I think there's a fire around here somewhere. It seems kind of smoky. So, end of day two. Tomorrow we'll get the machine delivered. Then I guess we're going to reload another one. Talk to you later. Oh, good morning. Day three of our trip to Colorado. We've got 238 miles to go, so we're getting this load delivered this afternoon. Just got a little bit of fuel. smoke off over the horizon that way. All right, time to get rolling. Welcome to Colorado. So this is Highway 24 westbound. I thought it was just very scenic. It's the road you take to go to Pikes Peak. Just after this video clip ends is where the turnoff to Pikes Peak is. It's a left-hand turn. I went straight. You can't really see Pikes Peak in this video. It's just a little bit off to the left, just out of frame. But I thought it was very scenic, so I added it to the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so we're here in Colorado. Just unloaded that machine up the hill and reloaded this one. We're taking this one to a fire and taking it to the Elk Fire in Wyoming. But that'll be another video for another day. Sure is nice up here. 9,000 feet elevation, I can barely breathe. Talk to you later.